Myers and Bernstein. Afternoons on the score. We get started with Gary in Evanston. Gary in Evanston. Gary from Evanston. Gary from Evanston is next on the score. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. The car rights are all great poker players. Hi, guys. Tuesday marked the birthdays of two of the greatest men who ever lived, Lauren Green and Abraham Lincoln. Hi, guys. I'm thrilled that Quentin Tarantino dressed Amy Fox's Django character in a little Joe Green jacket as a tribute to Michael Landon. Hi, guys. Michael Jordan was born on the very same Sunday as the first one airing of the classic Bonanza episode, The Hate. Burner. Hi, guys. Bonanza is the only non-sports show ever worth watching in a bar or restaurant. Hi, guys. May 18th would have been the 85th birthday of the most handsome Cartwright, the late, great Pernell Roberts. Hi, guys. The Cartwrights were the very best at taking a gun out of a holster. It's not a gun. <laughs> that's, that's not, not a, a gun, holster. and it wasn't their own holster. Hi, guys. Long Green and Yuppie are my guys. Uh, hi, guys. My greatest sports experience was meeting Yuppie at Olympic Stadium in 1999. Hi, guys. April 14th will mark the 34th anniversary of the greatest event in sports history, the debut of Yuppie in the Expo's 1979 home opener win over the Cubs. Hi, guys. I have visions of UP skating with the Stanley Cup when the Canadians win it in June. Hi, guys. I'm bitterly disappointed that the Archbishop of Quebec was not elected the first Canadian Pope. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Fresh Limbaugh, Bill O'Reilly, Bill Plasky, Tony Coinheiser, Juan McClure, Skip Bayless, Brittany Griner, Gary Danielson, Michael Wilbon, Phil Simpson, that other moron, Chris Collinsworth. Who are you crapping? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here he is one more time, Gary from Evanston. I prepared this crap nearly six years ago, but never used it because I felt that the crap B was both too obscure and too admirable. But since the crap is still very applicable, it is now finally time to crap author Hope Edelman, who wrote the 1994 book Motherless Daughters and three other books about the loss of a mother. Anyway, according to a 2006 Tribune story, Edelman gave a seminar in Lombard about that topic and talked about the quote, Lauren Green Syndrome which Edelman so named because she said that none of the three Cartwright sons ever talked about their different mothers, all of whom had died. Well, how could they talk about their mothers when Adam and Hoss were newborns and Joseph was only six when, respectively, Adam's mother died giving birth to him? Hoss's mother was killed by Indians, and little Joe's mother died when she fell off a horse at the Ponderosa. But Hoss and Joe always carried pictures of their mothers, and there were flashback episodes where Ben did talk to each of his sons about their mothers. In fact, there were two episodes about Hoss's mother, who later played Benson's housekeeper. Hope Edelman is someone to be greatly admired, but for her lack of knowledge about Bonanza, which led her to bring up a non-existent Lauren Green syndrome, say to Hope Edelman, who are you crapping? That's special, isn't it? (laughs) 